All right, guys, so uh, doing a service on a um, one litre uh, EcoBoost Ford Fiesta 2018 plate. Just going to start off with this uh, air filter. Pretty simple to do. Just undo them two clips. Take the old one out, which looks brand new anyway, but. <laughs> Put a new one in anyway. You just grab that off us. Oh, it doesn't smell very nice, does it? There we go. Put them back clips in. Simple as that. All right. Um, should we do the cabin filter next? Try and get in. Yeah. I know it's in the thing, but we should be able to. Do the cabin filter next. Um, just got. I think this is a uh, fungal one as well, so pretty decent one. So we'll get that in, uh, and then we'll do the oil. So, all right, guys. So the um, the cabin filter is located on the driver's footwell. Basically, there's a little cover here. Just uh, clip that off, and that will um, show you this. T30 Torx bit uh, screw, so just get that out. Right, so I've took that out, so just take this cover off now. There we go, just bend it back a bit. And that's that located. That's got four screws in, I think, like T20s possibly. So let's uh, just take them off. All right, so I've uh, taken the um, T20 screws out. So that just falls off. Then I've got the cabin filter here. Just pull that out. There we go. Let's uh, see what direction it is. Okay. Airflow. Okay, so it went in that way. So airflow is going this way. I am. All right, so it's the airflow there. You can see that. So that's the way it needs to go in. There we go. Then just pop this cover back on, screw it in, and put everything back together. All right, that's uh, that all back together. Um, I just noticed this as well. Obviously, I've seen on the other one, so I knew which airflow went anywhere, but. It does say right there what the airflow is, which uh, where you're meant to be putting it. So if um, just yeah, just make sure you check that, and uh, you'll know which way to put your airflow. So there you go. Right, so we'll just put on this plastic cover back on. Push it up and push it backwards, basically. There we go. So got that cover back on. And then just shove this back in. There we go. So that's how the cabin filter's done. Air filter's done. Uh, I think we're just changing some wiper blades to straight forward. Um, and then we've just got to do an oil filter and oil change. So. Alright, so I'm just uh, under the front of the car. Um, and I'm just going to take off that screw, that one, that one, and that one. So there's four Phillips at the front. Um, so just take them off and hopefully the front of the tra uh, trail will drop down. Hopefully I'll be able to get to the sump uh, easy enough without having to jack it up or anything. So uh, I'll quickly unscrew all them and we'll have a look. Alright, so I took them uh, four screws out, just dropped the tray down, 
Um, and the sump bolt is just at the back of there. So I'll be able to reach that without often to jack it up or anything. Um, I would probably jack it up, um, but the jack isn't here and it would probably just be easier just to quickly uh, scoot under there and take that off. Drain the uh, oil out and then we'll fill it back up. Oh, we'll get the filter off as well, change that over. Uh, I think we've got a new sump um, plug as well, so I'll put that on. So I'll go get everything sorted and then start draining some oil. Alright, so I um, ended up having to take the uh, under tray off and jacked it up over there. Uh, I could have got to the sump fine, but I couldn't get to the oil filter. Um, so ended up doing that. It wasn't the end of the world or anything, but didn't have a jack, so I had to use scissor jack. But I've put it on a um, jack sand, so it should be alright. But basically, here's your sump. There's your sump plug. And your oil filter's up there, if you can see it. Um, so I'm not going to film it, but we're going to take the oil filter off and um, that sump plug. Um, put a new oil filter on. I'm not going to put any oil in it, just put it right on. Um, put a new sump plug in uh, and then we'll just fill it back up. Uh, what size is that? Sump. Got anything? Uh, 14 is it? 14 mil. So it's a 40 mil there. Um I'll let you go a bit of light so you can see. There's it, that white thing there, that's your oil filter. There's your sump. So right at the back of the engine, nice and fun, but yeah, we managed to do it with just one jack stand on this side, so we can fit in and that, so it's all good. So we'll get that done and then get back to you when uh, I'm putting some oil in it. Sump on. Ah, new sump plug. Put the, just putting the new sump plug on now. We'll just get um, that tightened up. It's a 13 mil. Um, and then we've got that tightened up. We'll put the new oil filter on. Just tighten that up by hand. Um, just make sure you've got the old uh, oil ring off, but yeah, so we can get that tightened up, then we'll get um, the new oil filter on, here it is, just want to rub a bit of oil around there to help it seal, get that on, um, and then we can fill it with some oil. 5W20. Alright. Quite straightforward really. I mean, it's a little bit of a mission being at the back of the engine, but it's not the end of the world. Alright, so we've tightened up the sump and put the new oil filler on. Um, here's the filler. The tiniest one I've ever seen in my life. And we've got our funnel, so this is going to be fun. Let's have a go at this. You're going to get all over the engine? No, I won't. <laughs> Got it in the hole first time? Yep. Alright, so just filling it a little bit more in. It's almost spot on so just put a little bit more in um there we go that should be more spot on be better if I had a funnel but never mind um so just basically keep filling up check your oil levels and when it's in between the lines 
then you're good to go. Alright guys, so we've checked the oil, um, that's all spot on now, so we're good to go. Just give it a little start, go on a run, then check it again, just make sure everything's spot on. Um, but yeah, so we've just got to check for leaks, um, we're good to go there. So we're just going to put that under tray back on. Uh, there's two screws at the back, two plastic clips, and then four screws at the front. They're all just flathead. Um, so, yeah, put that tray back on. Um, jack it down and take it on a drive and good to go. But uh, that's all really. So change the filters, oil, air, cabin filter, change the oil. Uh, we changed front wipers and back wipers and uh, it's good to go now. So... There you go, hope this uh, helped guys and uh, thanks for watching.